Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. Today we're going to kind of start to slowly usher in fall, but this is a perfect fall, summer to fall kind of fun recipe. We're making zucchini bread. I know you all have one, have a recipe, but hey, let's make it together and see if this recipe works. I've never done this recipe, so let's see. Okay, so stay tuned. If you're new here, my name is Leslie. I am so thrilled that you are here. I would love for you to hit subscribe, hit that bell notification. I upload content on farming, mostly cooking, sometimes day in the life of. Here lately, it's going to be day in the life of just till we get over this scheduling hump of our life right now so um if you're interested in any of that i would love for you to join us we have a great community here everybody uplifts everyone so please consider hitting subscribe and if you already have subscribed thank you i love you guys so much okay on to the intro and then to the zucchini bread hey darling can i tell you what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is okay, guys. The reason I wanted to do this video is it is a brisk day here in North Carolina, and when I say brisk, I mean slightly chilly, much chillier than normal. Now Hold on, my battery's dying. Sorry about that. I couldn't see anything. <laughs> so I just plugged it up. Okay, so it is kind of, it's in the low, uh, the high is gonna be in the low 70s today, which is very abnormal. We're normally in the high 90s. And we will have more of those high 90 days. But today, it's a brisk, chilly day, to me chilly, for this time of year. And School is going to start back this week, so which is kind of the unofficial entry of fall, right? It's, it's the unofficial hello fall is going back to school. So, I thought a great way to merge summer, fall is take a summer vegetable that you, if you have a garden, you have tons of zucchinis and... But when do you have zucchini bread? Norm we normally do it in the fall. Now, that may be just a Leslie thing. But anyway, so that's what we're doing today. So let me gather all my stuff and we will get started. Okay, so the first thing I did was take my zucchini and I grated up two cups of zucchini. And I used, this is what I used. And it, I did it like in less, I mean, it was fast. One, one medium-sized zucchini gave me two cups, and that did it fast. I mean, fast. And that was through Pamper Chef. So, if you know a Pamper Chef person, I love that thing. Um, okay, so, let's move and run along. I'm going to start with my wet ingredients. So, let me move this out of my way. And we're going to start with, and I say wet, sugar's in here. That's not really a wet ingredient, but it kind of liquefies when we add wet stuff to it. So let me see here. I had, I can't remember how much sugar I had. I had a cup and three fourths, almost two cups of, almost two cups of sugar. So right here in this bowl, I'm going to crack three eggs and I'm going to just give them a quick little whisk through just to kind of get them a head start before I put them in that sugar. Nothing major, just a little bit. Okay, that's good. All right, so they're going in that sugar. All right. 
also to that sugar is a cup of oil. This recipe does not call for butter, so it calls for a cup of oil. So we're going in here with a cup of oil. All right. Let me just get this kind of whisk together and get it a head start, and we'll be right back. All right, so we've got it a pretty good start. So I'm going to add in a, about a tablespoon of vanilla, give or take. I don't measure my vanilla usually just because I love it so much. If I go a little over, it's okay. You know, it's funny. I love vanilla flavoring, but I'm not a vanilla ice cream person. If I eat vanilla ice cream, it has to be on like a pie or it has to have chocolate syrup on it. <laughs> As much as I love vanilla, isn't that weird? Okay, so to our sugar and oil and vanilla, I'm gonna go ahead and add in our two cups of shredded zucchini that I shredded earlier. And I'm gonna have to go find another whisk because this one is good and wet and messy. So I'll need another one for our dry ingredients. All right, so let's just mix that around in there. Okay, and we're going to set this aside for the time being. I'm going to grab another whisk, and I'll meet you back here with the dry ingredients. Okay, so in this bowl, I have three cups of all-purpose flour. And to that, I'm going to add in a teaspoon of baking soda. A teaspoon. I'm going to add in a teaspoon of salt. Now, normally, if you watch my channel, you know I don't normally add the salt to my baked goods. But that is because I use salted butter. This recipe does not call for butter. So, therefore, I am using the salt in this recipe. So, and when a teaspoon of salt, so now we're gonna go in with half a teaspoon of baking powder. Half a teaspoon of baking powder, and this is a fourth, so there we go with a half, okay. All right, and we're gonna go in with a tablespoon of cinnamon. Tablespoon of cinnamon. And I believe that's it. All right, let's give this a whisk together. Now we're going to combine our wet into our dry. Now, as you can see, I'm not getting a hand mixer out or anything. I'm doing all this by hand. And I hope that's a good decision. I think it will be. I think it will be fine. So I'm just gonna mix this wet in with this dry. Oh, it smells delicious. And if you're worried about it not having any milk or anything, remember that zucchini is very moist. So that is gonna add some moisture too. Um, so I'm super excited about this. I don't, zucchini bread is not one of those things I make a lot. I make a lot of banana breads, but not a lot of zucchini. Okay, one last ingredient. I took a cup of chopped nuts and just ever so lightly toasted them. The reason I did it ever so lightly is because I had um, already burnt a batch. <laughs> and I didn't want to burn another batch. So I'm going to add in these nuts. This is pecans. You could add walnuts, whatever your nut of choice is. I went in with pecans. Okay. All right. Let me get my pans over here and we will pour this up. Okay. So today I'm using one of these beautiful dishes that one of my sweet viewers gifted me. I've been dying to use them, but I haven't had, I haven't made anything like a, a loaf of anything. So I'm excited to get to use these dishes today. Some of you asked me if they were temptations. No, they are not temptations. Um, 
Weizenboy. I'm not sure if I said that correctly or not, but anyway, okay, this makes two breads, so I'm going to kind of stop on that one until I see where we are on this one. I try to do them as evenly as possible. Clump of flour that didn't. Just a small little clump, so I stirred it in. Alright, guys, my oven is preheated to 350 degrees, and these are going to go in for one hour. And my house is going to be smelling like heaven. I've actually got some fall candles. I don't really want to get too much into fall yet because we haven't even had our summer vacation yet. So, I don't want to get too much into fall. But, this weather, I can't help it. So, I do have a fall candle burning and I'm making zucchini bread and it's going to smell like fall. Oh my goodness. Alright, it's going in the oven right now for an hour. Okay, hey everyone, the zucchini bread has just come out of the oven, smelling and looking delicious. Okay, everyone, so everybody has left me. Uh, I got a call from Bryant. He needed me to come over to the chicken houses for a little bit, so I ran over there. While I was gone, Isaac got a call that he had to go to town, so he's not here to do the taste test with me. Bryant's not here to do the taste test with me, so I guess it is all up to me y'all want you look at that can you see those little bits those little green bits of zucchini mm. so good you want to do the taste test well come on judah bugs with me and he'll do the taste test but y'all i can already tell you by the fact that half that loaf is already gone yeah where's the stool at Hmm, I'll hold you. Can you try? Mm-hmm. Come on. That was... He was just Iron Man. Right. All right. Ready? That's really... Yummy. <laughs> Yummy. Yes, it is. Some of you may be asking... Now, go back and get on the couch. Iron Man. Did Leslie just eat that? Yes, I did. <laughs> I am, my mind is already in vacation mode. I had already decided I was going to lower my guard as far as carbs go. I was going to, you know, put down, I mean, I, I'm not going to go crazy, but I wanted to enjoy our vacation, enjoy the moment. And I guess I'm already in that mindset. I'm already kind of mentally on vacation because the chickens are gone. So, yes, I did taste it. You, <laughs> He said he wanted to do the taste test again. Hang on. I'll bring it to you and you can have it. You just get up there. I'll bring it to you. He must like my zucchini bread. Y'all, that is so good. Um, now, what I would do, I'm not doing it now, but what I would do, is heat this up just a little bit put some good salted butter on top mm, I swear I eat my banana bread mm. I, love you. I love you too it is so good okay guys well I'm sorry you're not getting to hear the men's point of view but I can tell you by the looks of that container Isaac loved it Bryant hasn't had it yet so um, come back to um, Thursday's video Come back to Thursday's video and we'll have him um, tell you a little bit what he thought of it. So, okay guys, I'm going to quit because I can't eat no more. And I'm going to get Judah down for his rest time. And then I'm going to think about starting supper. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being... Hang on. Thank you for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I love you guys so much. Thank you for allowing my little grandson to interrupt. And remember, the grease is hot enough. You can fry anything. Bye, y'all.